Hello and welcome. In this video, you will learn how you can convert an image to a console geometry. So here we are in PowerPoint. We will just use PowerPoint to create a shape image, which we will then use and import in console. So I'll just go to insert and I'll just draw a few random shapes. So let me just draw a few shapes just for demonstration purpose. Uh, maybe I will add a curves. Okay, uh, now I have this shape. So what I will do is I will save this image as a JPEG image file. So as you can see here, I've saved the image as a JPEG file and I have the shape which I've drawn in PowerPoint. So we have completed our shape. Now let us open console and see how we can do that. So here we are in console multiphysics. So before we start, let's go to developer options. From here, we have to go to add in and then we have to click on image to curve. Before you click on image to curve, we have to check few settings. Click on add in library, go on to console and here you see if you have the individual license for image to curve then you will see this here click on the checkbox and click on done and then you should have this option image to curve now let me add a component i'll add a 3d component and in the geometry i will have a work plane now let's go to developer and then click on add in image to curve it might take few seconds and image to curve will be added in the model as you can see image to curve is added in the global definitions so from here click on browse and select the image So now you will see that you will have a image uh, represented in the graphics tab. Note that if your image has uh, different gradients and complicated curves, you might have to adjust the difference curve tolerance and image width, etc. So I'll just click on solid and then I'll click on curve. Now you will see that inside the work plane if I click on build all object you will see that I have my shape which you know we made in a PowerPoint so if I open PowerPoint again you see that I have this geometry which we made in PowerPoint and inside a console we have the same geometry now if you want to extrude this you can easily do that let's say I want to change it to 0 0.01 meter so you can basically do any operation which you need inside of console uh, this kind of feature could be useful if you want to make some particular random geometry uh, in PowerPoint and then import it to console for example let's say I want to make a random surface so uh, I can do something like this and and then use it inside of console uh, for example this kind of geometry might take uh, a lot of time in console to make you might have to use Java uh, JavaScript codes or something like that so this is a very handy tool you might want to use it if you need it for your model so that's all for this video if you want this helpful you can give a like and do subscribe to this channel for more uh, similar videos thanks for watching have a nice day